Google's Universal Analytics is coming to an end and very soon. Therefore, it's super important to shift over to Google Analytics 4 as soon as possible so that you can continue generating important data from your Shopify store into the new version of Google Analytics. So in this Google Analytics 4 tutorial, I'm gonna show you the updated and easier way to install Google Analytics 4 onto your Shopify store. Now this new method also allows you to automatically track important events like purchases that are happening on your Shopify store. Okay, so before we go ahead and connect Google Analytics 4 with Shopify, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out the way, let's go ahead and install Google Analytics 4 onto your Shopify store using the updated method for 2023. <music> Okay, so first things first, what you need to do is log into your Shopify store. And before we connect Google Analytics 4 with our Shopify store, we need to make sure that we haven't installed Google Analytics 4 onto this Shopify store before, or even the older version of Google Analytics, Universal Analytics. So essentially what we want to do is make sure that we're working with a blank canvas in terms of installing Google Analytics 4 with Shopify. Now I created a tutorial a few years back that showed you the process of connecting Google Analytics 4 with Shopify. Now if you watched this tutorial, which I released about two years ago, this showed you the process of connecting Google Analytics and Shopify, but this is the old method. And in this process, what we did is we took the code from within Google Analytics and we added that into our theme.liquid. So if you've done that in the past, what you want to do is navigate over to these three dots next to your active theme and come down and click on edit code. And then what you want to do is navigate up to theme.liquid and then click on this pencil icon to edit the theme. And if you installed Google Analytics 4 through this method, you want to make sure that you remove that entire tag. If you're not too sure if you followed the older process for installing Google Analytics 4, then what I'll do is add that old tutorial up above and you can watch that and have a look at the code that I added in here. Okay, so this is a new site. So we currently do not have Google Analytics 4 installed onto this Shopify store. So what I'm gonna do is navigate back and then navigate down to preferences. And here we want to locate Google Analytics. Now, if you have a code pasted in here, what you want to do is go ahead and delete that code. You may have added that from the earlier version of Google Analytics, Universal Analytics. So we want to make sure that that code is deleted from here. Okay, so once you've removed the old Google Analytics tags, then we can move on to the next step. And for those that currently do not have Google Analytics 4 set up, then again, keep following this tutorial and I'll show you how to set up Google Analytics so that you can connect it with Shopify. Okay, so what we're going to do is simply navigate over to apps. And this time we're going to use an app to connect Google Analytics 4. Simply go ahead and type in Google. And after searching Google inside Shopify's app store, simply navigate down and locate Google Channel. This is the app that we want to install. Go ahead, click on it, then select Add App. And then here we just need to add the sales channel. And then come down and click on Connect Google Account. Here we want to select the Google account that we used for Google Analytics if we've already set up Google Analytics 4. For those that currently do not have Google Analytics 4 set up, then choose the Google account that you want to use to set up Google Analytics 4. And that's going to take you here. And what we want to do is go ahead and connect Google Analytics 4. So locate this option, then click Get Started. Then here, all you want to do is navigate down to connect a Google Analytics property and select a Google Analytics property that you've already set up. If you haven't set up a Google Analytics property for this website, then simply click out of here and go ahead and click on create new. And that will take you to analytics help. What we're going to do is navigate over to analytics in the top right hand corner. Then navigate down and click on get started today. Now I already have a Google Analytics account, so I'm going to go ahead and create a new property inside my existing Google Analytics account. So I'm going to navigate up to sign in to analytics. 
And if you're using an existing Google Analytics account, you will see this notification if you have some properties that are still using Universal Analytics and you're yet to upgrade to Google Analytics 4. Remember the cutoff date is the 1st of July. That is the date when Universal Analytics stops collecting data. Okay, so I'm gonna navigate down and click no thanks and then click on admin down in the bottom left hand corner and then navigate up to create new property. Now the interface will be slightly different if it's your first time logging into Google Analytics with your Google account. You'll be asked to create a account and all you need to do is add an account name and then you'll be taken to create property. So once you've arrived here, simply navigate down to property name and add your property name. I'm gonna add the name of my website. Then go ahead and select the reporting time zone as well as the currency and then navigate down to next. Here you can select the industry category I'm going to navigate down and click on business and industrial. I'm going to select the size of my business and then select how you intend to use Google Analytics with your business. Select all that apply. Now it doesn't matter too much the options that you select, but I'm going to navigate down and click on increase my conversions, optimize my site or app experience and analyze my online sales. Then once you've selected some options that reflect what you want to do with Google Analytics, simply come down and click create. Then here, navigate up to web and then add your Shopify URL and double check that your URL is correct for your online store and then add your website name, your stream name. Again, I'm going to add go digital now and then come down and make sure enhanced measurement is turned on. This should be turned on by default and then go ahead and click on create stream. And just like that, we've gone ahead and set up our Google Analytics 4 property. Now we need to connect this property with our Shopify store. Simply go ahead and head back to your Shopify store. And back inside the Google channel app within Shopify, you might need to refresh the page, then navigate down to connect a Google Analytics property again. And this time we should be able to locate our new property. So here's the property that we just set up. I'm going to go ahead and click here and then connect this property. And congratulations, just like that, you've successfully set up Google Analytics 4. Now you can get insights into your online store's performance with Google Analytics. Okay, so now what I wanna do is test if this Google Analytics 4 property is now collecting important data from my Shopify store. We want to make sure that we can track visitors on our website, as well as important events that are happening on our website. For example, we want to follow our customer's journey. We want to make sure we can track when a product is selected and then added to cart, their information has been added, a payment has been made, and a conversion has been initiated. So to do this, the best way is to navigate through your Shopify store as if you were a customer. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open up my website in a different browser, a different tab. Okay, so here we are on the home page. I'm going to navigate over to buy book and then scroll down the page and I'm going to select this digital ebook. I'm going to add to cart and then come down and click on checkout. And I want to make sure that Google Analytics is tracking all of this information, all of these different actions that I'm doing on my website. I'm going to quickly go ahead and add all of this information. Okay, so I've gone ahead and added that information. I'm going to come down and click continue to payment and then add payment details. And then I can make this payment. And as you can see, that payment has been processed. Now, before I go ahead and dive into my Google Analytics 4 account and check to see that all those events were tracked, I'm going to head back to Shopify. And under my Shopify orders, I'm going to go ahead and refund this customer because this was just a test run. That way, you're not just spending all your hard earned money testing products. So let's go ahead and click refund. And down here, I'm going to go ahead and click on refund. Now, once you've done that, head back to your Google Analytics 4 account. And back inside Google Analytics, what we're going to do is exit out of stream details and then navigate over to home. And that's going to take us to our property dashboard. You can see basic information like the number of users on your account over a specific period of time, as well as new users, conversions. You can change some of these metrics if you like, depending on what you want to measure and track, as well as average engagement time. And then over here, you can see the users in the last 30 minutes. And if we navigate over to view real time, you can see more information, detailed information about each of your website visitors. 
Now, if you'd like to learn more about how you can use Google Analytics 4, what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will guide you through all the different features that Google Analytics 4 has to offer. Now, what we're gonna do is navigate over to the left-hand side and click on Reports, and then come down and click on Engagement, and then click on Overview. And then let's navigate over to Top Pages and Screens and come down and click on Real Time. You can see where this user came from if we navigate down. You can see the pages that were initiated, and these are all the pages. And if we come down, you can see that there is a conversion, one purchase, which means all this information has been recorded. So I'm happy with that. We now know that Google Analytics 4 and Shopify is working correctly. Now, if we navigate up to view user snapshot, and this will give you a snapshot of a random user's activity on your website. Okay, so here I am back inside my home dashboard for this property. Now, it's important to note that it may take up to 24 hours for your data to appear inside your analytics account. So what I recommend you do is come back in 24 hours, log back into your Google Analytics account, and make sure all this information, this data is being generated. However, that is it for this beginner's tutorial, helping you connect Google Analytics 4 with your Shopify account using the new method in 2023. And there we have it guys, that is it for this updated Shopify and Google Analytics 4 tutorial for beginners. Now if you have any questions about the process of connecting these two together, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.